Hello, my name is Mitchell Masuria and I am working with the Clinical Genetics Department here in Leicester. This podcast is about Von Hippel-Lindau syndrome. This syndrome is usually caused by a spelling mistake in the VHL gene. Genes code for proteins that build and maintain the body. We each have two copies of all of our genes and VHL is inherited in an autosomal dominant fashion. This means that if a child inherits an altered copy of the VHL gene from an affected parent, they are at high risk of developing this condition. Although patients have this gene alteration from conception, symptoms rarely present before the age of five. Screening for individuals at high risk of developing VHL therefore tends to be recommended from this age. The screening which is usually recommended includes Firstly, annual blood pressure monitoring. Increased blood pressure can be caused by the overproduction of adrenaline from the adrenal glands which are above the kidneys. This is often assessed by measuring hormone levels in the urine over a 24 hour period. Secondly, regular examination by an ophthalmologist to look for swelling of blood vessels at the back of the eye called retinal angiomas. Thirdly, imaging of the brain and occasionally also including the spinal cord is, in, is performed to look for any swellings or cysts. Finally, we recommend annual ultrasound of the abdomen to look for cysts or early evidence of tumours, particularly on the kidneys. These tests are slowly introduced throughout childhood until they are all offered to patients over the age of 16. If you develop symptoms such as persistent headaches, the inability to coordinate your movements, abdominal pain, blurred vision, blood in the urine or palpitations, we recommend that you discuss this with your specialist urgently. If you have been found to have VHL, we recommend that you talk to your doctor about the risks to your family members and future generations. A new technology called pre-implantation genetic diagnosis is available. This involves test tube baby technology when only embryos that have not inherited the altered copy of the gene are implanted back into the womb. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact the Clinical Genetics Department on 0116 258 5736. Thank you.